know the custom of Christmas stockings goes back to the stories of St. Nicholas leaving gifts in children's socks on Christmas Eve. Then Clement Clark Moore penned the night before Christmas. Stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and Santa has filled them with candy and toys on Christmas Eve ever since. Ho, ho, ho! But if you dig deeper into the stories of yesteryear, legend speaks of St. Nicholas specifically tossing balls of gold into young girls' stockings to spare them from suffering. Balls of gold, which people in Europe liken to a rare and exotic fruit we call oranges. They would have to have come in from Italy, um, and so they were expensive, they were a luxury item, they were exotic, and so it's also round and a little golden in shape if you use some imagination. And then the people of Europe discovered a new world, tailor-made for growing citrus. Florida and California produce millions of oranges, and the industry heavily promoted them as one of Santa's favorites, a must-have in any good little boy's or girl's stocking. Where does he get the oranges? Because they don't grow in the North Pole. No, no, he, I assume he has a Southern Florida supplier. Who's the supplier? I don't know. <laughs> well, back then, all the suppliers got in on it. The Sunkiss Courier wrote, it is wise for Santa to give this fruit to his small believers rather than filling their stockings with cheap artificial candy. And so in Florida, the land of plentiful citrus, Santa became well known for leaving his favorite fruit in the toe of the stocking. My parents, of course, grew up probably in the depression, you know, so that's what they got, so that they just passed it on down to us. And that's how the tradition spread through Florida in the 1930s. Families reeling in poverty from the Great Depression had to show their love by picking their gifts for free. You can go out, you can pick it. It is affordable, it's accessible, and it's something that they've, they've brought into the family. And the custom continues for families today if they know the story of the gold balls from Europe or the fruit that drove the agricultural gold rush in Florida. It really is important to, to remember that connection to some of the simpler things here in, in Florida as well as in life. Craig Patrick, Fox 13 News.